Hi, this is Rocky Carson with Racket World, and today we're going to be going over shot selection. So in today's lesson, I've composed many different videos of return of serve. If you look at these videos, you'll notice a few different things. First, I'd like to look at where I'm shooting the ball from. With these serves, you'll notice that some shots were more comfortable with shooting than others. If I'm not as comfortable shooting them, many times I'm going back to the ceiling, trying to push my opponents back to the back corners and forcing them into a shot that they're not quite as comfortable with. But if you see, when I am comfortable shooting the ball, I'm shooting a lot of passes, as well as occasional pinches. Next, I'd like to look at where my opponent is standing, or the core positioning they've taken on returning or attacking my shot. A lot of these videos, you'll see my opponent standing a little bit farther forward. Remember, it's not always the kill shot that's the best shot in the game. It's the shot where our opponent isn't. If I find my opponent hanging out somewhere in the front court, meaning in front of the encroachment line, there's a good chance you're going to get passed. Not always easy to hit a great shot when the ball's behind you. And that's a shot that you can force your opponent into if they stay too far forward. Your shots don't necessarily have to be perfect. And your passes don't necessarily have to be one foot high or lower. At times, I hit a lot of my shots 18 inches high, sometimes even thigh high, to just get the ball to bounce deep behind my opponents. Let's take a look at some of these photos. You'll notice the core positioning of my opponent and where I'm striking the ball from. If my opponent's too far forward, in front of the encroachment line, you'll probably see me passing more. If he's farther back, you'll probably see me shooting the ball a little lower, possibly right into the corners for nice pinch shots or hopefully kill shots and, and splats. Lastly, we want to look at the shots that we are most confident in shooting. We want to know our strengths as well as our weaknesses. What I mean by that is know what shots you're good at killing and know what shots you're not good at killing, as well as know what shots you're good at hitting down the line and cross court. Don't try to force something when you're not that good at certain shots. Stay away from the mistakes. Hopefully you can apply this to your game, and good luck.